Zeb Comics presents top 10 selling books of the week with C Money DJ Brown. What's going on, guys? It's top 10 time. I got some special guests this week. I got a uh, dumb and dumber. So, uh, hey, <laughs> you said you were going to call us handsome and handsomer. <laughs> So we, got, video. we got a little uh, Nick and Tom back here today. So if you come in the store today, they well, Nick will be at the warehouse, but Tom will be here all day. What's up? Because where are you moving to? Denmark. Yeah, last time it was China, and I guess next time you're here, you'll be moving somewhere else. You know, don't, don't, be, don't be mean to me. I'm in the video. You asked <laughs> okay. me to do it. I'm doing you a favor. <laughs> <laughs> no favors here, Tom. And number 10 is Ninja Turtles number 118. 118. You like, you like the turtles? Yeah, I love the turtles. Yeah, My favorite one is Michelangelo because he's a party dude. <laughs> A big fan of uh, and this issue they kind of go into his backstory of how he became a party dude his uh his problem with uppers you know etc etc and then his problem with downers yeah. <laughs> uh, number nine dr afro number 12 of course mink you jung artwork fantastic i love it our favorite boy and also joe caramanga letters yeah i, I looked at those letters he is all 26 <laughs> baby it's gonna be a real real big one uh number eight is joker number five this is one of the variant covers for it because I sold out of cover A. With his ex-girlfriend punchline. You if go. you're a fan of Joker and his uh, romantic interest, his romantic intrigue, you're really going to love this one. You're being sarcastic, though. No, no. Jo jo you, know, you guys don't love punchline? We love, we love punchline. It's Joker's new girlfriend. Number seven is from Bad Idea, the lot number one. It was under one per customer, uh, of course. And uh, there you go. Lot number one. From uh, from bad idea. Bad idea. Number six is Spider Man Spider Shadow, book four. This is the final issue of the What If series. Very big seller. Yeah, this is the one where we find out if there's going to be four more weeks of winter. So I'm really, uh, I'm really, really hoping he doesn't see a shadow because I'm hoping for some cool weather uh, headed into August. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number five. Cha -cha. Number five is the nice house on the lake. Number one, second printing, scorching hot, scorching hot. Because as you know, why this is hot? Huh. I mean, that kind of reminds me of, the, of another book, another horror book. <laughs> Something is killing the children. Have yeah. you heard about this? The man who created this is writing this. Yeah. So this is the hottest thing on the planet. So this is not far behind it. So. There you go. This is major, major. Careful thing. with your fingers, Corey. That book is red hot. You might burn them. Uh, just like when you're baking cookies and your little sloppy fingers can't help themselves. I want to. I want to pick a new one. I want to pick one. They're fresh out of the oven, Corey. You can't eat those cookies yet. I don't think sloppy fingers. No. <laughs> Number four, coming in, coming in hot and sloppy. We got Detective Comics 1039. Look at that. It's a uh, vile. It looks, uh, You're going to want to read the first 1,038 <laughs> if you want to catch up with what's happening in this issue. But I promise you it's worth it. Okay, number uh, three is Thor, number 15. This was a few months late. Donna came out, Donnie Cates, Thor. We love Donnie Cates. We Thor. Yeah. I just thought he didn't put the book in my box. Mm. No, it, just didn't, it didn't come no. out. And I never put any books in your box. As you can tell, deadly class. Sorry, yeah. Nick. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. Yeah. You would think working here, you get special treatment. No, no, you don't. Okay. <laughs> number two is Sinister War, number one. This is spinning up out of the pages of yeah. Amazing Spider-Man, which is basically a weekly book. And now you got this coming out. It's four issues. This is issue number one. We obviously hate a war. A sinister war has to be one of the worst types of war. It's true. In my yeah. opinion. Uh, it's true. Okay. But what, what, would be uh, the, what would be the scariest war of all time? The sloppy. Scariest? A sloppy war? A sloppy I was thinking, war. number one, a war of the bounty hunters. <laughs> what, this war is, of the bounty hunters. Uh, a beautiful be cover. War. I love this cover. A sloppy <laughs> war. So, oh, a sloppy war. Oh, I'm getting all sloppy from this war. But the trenches get all sloppy. So what are we talking about? Star Wars? Hey, <laughs> Boba Fett. <laughs> so this is number one, Star Wars War of the Bunny Hunters, number two. Mm -hmm. So there you go. It was the top ten. Now, uh, uh, in this issue of War of the Bounty Hunters, they kind of go over kind of the moral implications of if Boba Fett kissed one of the clone troopers. Because uh, it is himself. Uh, is the Count as kissing himself or another person? We don't really know, but it's going to be really exciting this war to find out uh, who comes out on top. Uh... <laughs> Who comes out as a top, uh, Boba or the Clone Trooper? There's a fly in here, too. <laughs> oh, we got anything else? <laughs> no, uh, that's it, Tom. That's it. Okay. Well, right. that's top ten. Uh, uh, in, in terms of the top ten boys, uh, Nick, 
Uh, definitely in the top five. Corey, oh, okay. no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> and Tom, number one. Number, oh, number one top boy. Right. Always. You, you guys, guys, guys want to see something on camera? Don't you dare. You guys want to see something <laughs> on camera? <laughs> 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 Bye, everyone. See you, everybody. <laughs> top 10, baby.